I have instilled a 15 minute habit that compounds my knowledge every single day. Using this habit, I'm creating novel insights, becoming more interesting and thoughtful, and falling back in love with learning. I'm gonna show you how to instill this habit for your review systems and for your knowledge management. The reason this works so well is because it follows what I call slow burns over heavy lifts. Heavy lifts are massive feats of effort and spend it in a short amount of time. Slow burns, however, are small, consistent pieces of effort that compound over time. The biggest shift in my relationship with personal knowledge management came when I started doing more slow burns over heavy lifts. I stopped wasting hours min-maxing my PKM system with the best plugins, review systems, and tag structures. Now I feel more joyful free and wonderstruck. Quick win before we get started. If you want to apply this to your own note taking, one of the biggest heavy lifts that you can overcome is not knowing what to prioritize learning about in your note taking app. So if you use Obsidian or want to, then I recommend getting my free beginner Obsidian resource list in the description below, which is gonna let you learn the 20% of things that you need to get 80% of your results in Obsidian. It includes all the resources I wish I had on Obsidian three years ago, like links to the community, my best curated content, and links to the best creators. So back to the video. How can you make the shift from heavy lifts to slow burns. Let's talk about what slow productivity is to understand. As described by Cal Newport in his book, Slow Productivity, slow productivity challenges the conventional fast-based volume-obsessed approach to work and productivity. Newport advocates for a more deliberate, quality-focused methodology. And this approach emphasizes deep work, where one concentrates on fewer tasks, but focuses more deeply on the tasks that they do. The idea is to reduce the stress and burnout associated with constant pressure so you can work with higher quality over a longer period of time. That's the essence of slow productivity. Doing less with higher quality paradoxically allows us to do more. And this is because we don't have to switch from activity to activity. Contrary to popular belief, we suck at context switching. We're like drafts swimming in the ocean. Our brain can't jump back and forth like a computer processor. When you multitask, you actually switch rapidly between the tasks that you're doing, destroying your focusing muscle. Slow productivity recognizes this and advocates for less context switching and work spread out over longer periods of time in more focused sessions. So let's apply this to our PKM practice in a 15 minute habit. Firstly, let's apply it to our reflection and review, which is the first half of the 15 minute habit. So for years, I've been doing daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly, and yearly reviews. And this has allowed me to learn so much more about myself, my patterns, my characteristics, feelings, thoughts, what brings me energy, what takes away energy. It allows me to plan more effectively in the future using this knowledge. You're probably thinking, God, this must take like hours every single day. In reality, with slow productivity, it takes at most 10 minutes a day. The secret is doing small, consistent efforts. I have a daily review that I fill out every single night, which takes around 10 minutes at most. This is the bulk of my review process. As you can see in my template right here, simply write about what was the most story-worthy moment of the day. What significant things happened? What did I dream about? What was the best thing I learned? Stuff like that. Then when I sit down to do a weekly review every week, I go through all my daily reviews and review the week. And I do the same thing for my monthly, quarterly, and yearly review. Now that takes a bit longer, but the point is that with just the daily reviews, making this small, easy effort, I massively reduce the friction of journaling and learning more about myself. If you want to learn how to do regular reflection and review yourself, you can check out my video up above on how to create your best life with regular review and planning in Obsidian. Now, what about slow productivity applied to compounding knowledge? Simply put, my habit for compounding knowledge is growing at least one note in my note-taking system daily. And I've done this by following a few rules. 
Personally, I don't use a daily processing routine. I understand not every piece of content has to be turned into something. I used to process every single note that I created, every single piece of content I consumed, and this sapped all of my energy for taking notes. It felt like a chore. It felt like I was bringing out the trash and mom was like, do the trash now. And I was like, no, I don't wanna do that. So now I go through my recent literature notes when I feel like processing them, as well as once a week when I'm writing my newsletter. This has reduced the time I spent processing by hours. Secondly, every time I open a note, I try and grow it in some way. The idea is if it was valuable enough for me to open, then it must be worth growing. So I'll grow it by expanding upon it, connecting to another note, or providing an example of what I'm talking about in the note. By growing notes in this way, I slowly grow them over time rather than making it a super heavy lift effort. And thirdly, I create and grow maps of content by making small changes over time. A map of content is a term coined by Nick Milo that simply means a note connecting to a bunch of other related notes. So as I grow individual notes in my system from the above two rules, when I hit a mental squeeze point, which is the point at which the level of disorganization becomes so insane, I have to organize in some way, then I'll create a mock. And I'll just slowly add to this mock and revamp it over time as I get more notes related to it, instead of making it one massive heavy lift. So by following all three of these rules, it allows me to compound my knowledge in just a few minutes a day through creating or growing at least one note. And the beautiful thing is if I feel like doing more, then I'll do more. There's no rigid rules. I just need to make grow at least one note. So find out how you can start applying slow productivity to your PKM system. Try and do more slow burns than heavy lifts. Start feeling more free, joyful, and wonderstruck when you enter your PKM system instead of like it's a chore that you have to do. One of the best ways you can start applying these principles is by checking out my Obsidian Beginner resource list, which is gonna give you the 20% of things that you need to get 80% of the output with Obsidian. It includes all the resources that I wish I had on Obsidian three years ago, like links to the community, the best creators to follow, and my most popular curated content on Obsidian. If you want to check that out, it's in the description below. As always, have a fantastic rest of your day, eat some peanut butter, and bye bye